welcome do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe let's get into the details yoruba nation fulani kabao managing fg can bully me says akintoye Professor Banji Akintoye, leader of Ilana Omar Dua Worldwide, has vowed to continue with the agitation for Yoruba Nation. In a statement on Friday, the elder statesman said that the suggestion that he is naive enough to yield to money or give up is both an insult and a Greek fabrication. Akintoye declared that he has no reason to consider abandoning the organization he founded towards achieving Yoruba self-determination. The Funani Kabao, managing the federal government, know me very well and know that I absolutely can't be bought or bullied by them. They know that in my much younger years, as a prominent youth in the political family of our father, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, they could not buy or bully me, he said. Akin Toye, who fought for the release of Sunday Adeyemo, aka Igbo, said he's still the brave and uncompromising found fighter for truth and integrity that my God made me to be. The octogenarian believed the South Wales will soon free ourselves from the decay and decay that Nigeria has become. The statement told the public to know that self-determination organizations have been operating with peaceful and law-abiding means. For us in Lana and other true Yoruba patriots, there is no going back in this struggle. Our enemies of all kinds are already smelling defeat, he added. Well, Professor Banji Akintoye has come out to say that money cannot um, buy him and it is not turning back for the Yoruba nation. And that people who know him will know that when he was much younger, under the chief of Bafemi Awolowo family, he cannot take bribe, he cannot be bribed. And that he would not leave the struggle to actualize this um, Yoruba self determination. Um, the Yoruba self-determination. This is what they have been fighting for. This is what he, Sunday Igbo, um, Professor Wale Adeniro, and now uh, Wale Shoin Kawa has joined the, um, the race. And they are tired of this country. They are saying that they want to actualize their own nation. We all saw what happened with Sunday Igbo. We led the movement for, uh, for Yoruba self-determination, um, for Yoruba self-actualization of their own nation. We saw the way everything played out, how the, the government arrested them. And this is um, something that the government do. When you speak up against them, immediately they, they act in a way that you don't understand. It's either they kill the person or, or they decide to arrest the person or what they might do to you might not like it. We all see what's going on in this country with the unemployment rate, with the um, poverty, with um, this ash strike and everything. Nothing in this country is going on as planned. They're always saying that Nigeria is united, is united. But let us face the fact that there's nothing like um, being united. Look at the killings, people killing in the north. Look at um, this um, particular Fulani headsman going to the southwest to do things. And you people are saying we're united. There's still some sort of um, tribalism, some sort of um, division between people in Nigeria. And this Yoruba self-determination group came out to, um, to want to actualize their own group. Let's talk about the um, Inam Dikano, who tried his best to also actualize Biafra for the people of Igbo, but we saw what happened to him. Even IPOB has, uh, has been declared as a terrorist group. The genius people of Biafra have been declared as a terrorist group. And the question has um, um, led me to ask, what about the Fulani Hetzman? Why have they not been, um, be, been identified as a terrorist group? This is people that enter into people's houses. These are people, rather, that enter into people's houses and commit all, all sorts of atrocities and live unharmed. Nobody has said anything about them. They've not even declared as a terrorist group. They come in and do whatever they, they deem it fit to do. And nobody has said anything concerning that, that issue. So now, because of all this that is happening and the way people in Nigeria are suffering and are being treated, Sunday ago, Professor Banji Akintoye and Wala Deniro and other um, Yoruba agitators have decided to come together and look for a way to, to actualize their own nation. They feel that if they actually have their own nation, it will be much more better than Nigeria. Let everyone go to their states, form their own nation, start their new life afresh, and be, be, be included in the administration of, of their nation. 
Because right now, we cannot even talk or speak against the government. Our freedom of expression, it has been cut off. Our freedom of speech has been cut off because we can't say anything. If not, we'll be in trouble. So you need to walk around eggshells with this... Um, you need to walk around eggshells with this gov um, um, government, with this federal government, because you cannot actually say what you want to say. Some people even go as far as opening burner accounts to talk on social media because they do not want to be traced. They don't want to use their real name and um, enter into, into trouble. Professor Banja Akito, you have been, have been um, the number one supporter of this of the Ilana Omar Odua, and he has been somebody that has been solidly behind the back of Sunday Igbo, and he also fought for Sunday Igbo's release because he is somebody that is keen on making this Yoba nation possible, and he is also one of the people, him and Wale Adeniro and the lawyers, also one of the people that that stopped the AKT gubernatorial election because it did not coincide with the constitution. The constitution they were using was 1999 constitution, and that constitution was during the military regime. And now the constitution should not be used. They are saying that the constitution should not be used to conduct elections in, in those states because it is not um, right, it is not legit. The constitution is not valid. And he has been one of the active members fighting for that. Not only him, also Wale Adeniro has been an active member fighting for um, for the Yoruba um, nation. And this is this has been something that has been ongoing because it's not easy to, to, to um, fight for freedom. It's not easy to fight for your people. And the Yoruba people have been more sub, have been more embracing because they know, they see the effort Professor Banja Akintoye is making. They see the steps he's taking. Even of partly, if not for him, President Talon and um, Wana Daniel, and also um, Professor Wole Shenka, which we just knew that he also helped in the in the fight for Igbo's release. We did not know that before, but we found out that he was one of the people that actively fought for Igbo um, release. If not for them, Sunday Igbo might still be in, in custody till now, but they fought for him because they know that he did nothing wrong. And most of their protests, most of their campaigns have been peaceful. They have not done anything to hurt anybody. So the question is, is that are they are not doing anything wrong. That is the, the, the real fact. They are just wanting a separate nation. And some faction, most of the faction wants it to happen because they are tired of Nigeria. They are tired of staying under um, um, presidents, governors that don't do anything. We see the governors keeping short about the, the, what the Fulani people are doing in the states. None of them are talking. But now when they want to run for different posts, they will come and be seeking for the help of the Southwest people. And this act has been found upon. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And turn on your notification button to get more news updates from us as it comes. Thank you.